let's go to the third scenario. Uh, a 68 year male uh, is brought by his son with increased confusion. He's been struggling to pass urine. He's been having increased frequency and foul odor in his urine as well. He was shivering yesterday. Looks generally unwell. Uh, he takes Tamsulosin for BPH. His vital signs are pressures of 100 upon 62, pulse of 108, respiratory rate of 20, and oxygen starts of 94% on air. How would you manage this case? Oops, sorry. Anyone, what, what are you thinking? What could be sepsis protocol? Great, great, Dr. Matthew, yeah. So as I say, again, the red flags, the triggering things for us here, the patient does to have, look to have signs of UTI, isn't it? He's having increased frequency, he was shivering yesterday and he's becoming more confused, okay? Now what happens is, how do you proceed basically? So this patient, is having a UTI and on top of UTI, now whether he is he developing a sepsis, okay? So we'll go ahead with sepsis. So how to spot a sepsis in an adult? UK is very, very particular about the sepsis six, basically. So uh, you'll find this uh, poster stick in every ambulance that goes. So if the patient has a uh, sudden speech sliding or confusion, this could be stroke as well. Uh, extremely shivering, muscle ache, body aches, not passing urine, uh, severe breathlessness, patient feels that he's going to die and skin looks discolored or mottled, this could be underlying sepsis. If you have these symptoms, think about a sepsis X. So if the patient is hypoxic, give oxygen, take blood cultures, give antibiotics within one hour of the patient presenting to you. That would reduce the mortality significantly. Give IV fluid challenge to the patient, measure lactates of the patient and measure urine output. See, uh, there are various, various scales and uh, you know ways to calculate the overall prognosis some would use so far and all as emergency physicians i understand our job is basically to make sure you're not missing a sepsis second you give them the basic treatment for sepsis including the iv fluids and the antibiotics don't delay them lactates blood cultures everything would come into play definitely but uh, as ed physicians or as peripheral uh, uh, Physician sitting in the peripheries. The main, main, uh, not to miss uh, point for you guys is you don't miss sepsis. So whenever you are in doubt, you find that there may be an active source of infection. Not, you know, not an obvious source of infection. But if the patient is acting slurry, is confused, you can find that he's got hemodynamic instability. He's got, he's not passing enough urine. He's short of breath. Skin doesn't look well. Skin mottled or discolored means you do have a uh, compromise in the circulatory parameters. Think about sepsis. Give them antibiotic shot. Give them IV fluids. Get their blood cultures before you've administered the IV and uh, antibiotics. Uh, you could definitely save the life of the patient. <laughs>